ever pondered the intricate beauty of hierarchical network design. Today we dive deep into its layers. This widely used method for structuring computer networks offers a fascinating blend of adaptability and scalability. It's like a multi-tiered cake, where each layer has a distinct role to play, yet all layers work together to make the cake complete. In the realm of networking, these layers are known as the core, distribution and access layers. Each one has a unique set of responsibilities and together they optimize the performance and efficiency of the network. So it's not just about creating connections, but about structuring them in a way that enhances the overall network design. This hierarchical approach gives us the ability to expand networks, adapt to changes and troubleshoot issues with ease. Let's unravel the layers and understand how they work together in harmony. At the heart of it all, we find the core layer. This is where the magic happens, where the network's backbone resides. It's the high-speed highway of the network designed to transport large amounts of data quickly and efficiently. The core layer is all about speed and reliability, ensuring that data gets where it needs to go without delay or interruption. Consider the core layer as the motorway of your network. Its primary role is to provide a fast, reliable and efficient path for data to travel across the network. It does not concern itself with the nature of the traffic or where the traffic originates from. It is solely dedicated to getting data from one point to another as quickly as possible. But the core layer isn't just about speed, it's also about resilience and fault tolerance. In the unlikely event of a network failure, the core layer is designed to recover quickly. It has multiple paths for data to travel, so if one path becomes unavailable, data can be rerouted to another path, ensuring that the network remains operational. The core layer also plays a crucial role in connecting different parts of the network. Think of it as the central hub that links the distribution layer and the access layer. It ensures that all parts of the network can communicate with each other, making the network a cohesive whole rather than a collection of isolated segments. In essence, the core layer is the network's backbone. It provides the fast, reliable and resilient infrastructure that the rest of the network relies on. Its role is not to handle complex tasks or manage access to resources. Instead, it focuses on doing one thing and doing it well, transporting data rapidly and reliably across the network. So when we talk about the core layer, we're talking about the heart of the network. It's the crucial link that binds everything together, ensuring that data can flow smoothly and efficiently from one part of the network to another. Without the core layer, the network would be a disjointed collection of parts, unable to function as a unified whole. The core layer is the backbone that connects and empowers the entire network. It's the unsung hero of the network, working tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that your data gets where it needs to go. Next, we step into the realm of the distribution layer. This layer, often referred to as the workhorse of the network, has a multifaceted role. It's like the diligent middle management in a corporate structure, ensuring the smooth flow of data between the top brass and the ground workers. The distribution layer's first role is in routing. It's responsible for determining the best path for data packets to travel through the network. Imagine it as a well-organized traffic system, efficiently directing the flow of vehicles to ensure minimal congestion and maximum speed. The distribution layer also plays a critical role in filtering. This is where the layer steps into the shoes of a meticulous gatekeeper, letting in only the data that should be allowed access to the network. It uses access control lists, or ACLs, to scrutinize and filter incoming and outgoing data packets based on set rules and policies. This not only enhances the security of the network, but also optimizes its performance by reducing unnecessary traffic. But that's not all. The distribution layer also implements policies. Think of it as the network's law enforcement agency, implementing and enforcing network policies to manage and control network resources. It ensures that all data traffic adheres to the policy set, be it security regulations, traffic control rules or quality of service guidelines. 
The distribution layer also acts as a communication bridge between the core and access layers. The core layer, the network's backbone, and the access layer, the network's entry and exit points, are connected through the distribution layer. It ensures that communication between these two layers is seamless, efficient, and without any hiccups. In essence, the distribution layer is a vital cog in the hierarchical network design. By routing, filtering, implementing policies, and bridging communication between the core and access layers, it ensures the smooth and efficient operation of the network. The distribution layer, the bridge that ensures communication flows efficiently. Finally, we arrive at the front lines, the access layer. This is where the action happens, where the rubber meets the road in the grand scheme of hierarchical network design. The access layer is the touchpoint for all end devices in the network. Be it your laptop, your smartphone, or even that smart coffee machine in the corner of the office, they all connect to the network via this very layer. Its primary role is to provide a means of connectivity for these devices. It's like the doorman of a high-end club, deciding who gets to enter and join the party that is our network. But it doesn't just stop at providing access. It also ensures the connections are efficient, reliable, and most importantly, secure. Now let's talk about security, an aspect that is of paramount importance in today's digital age. The access layer is responsible for implementing security and access policies. It controls who gets to connect to our network and defines how they get to interact with it. It's like the bouncer who checks your ID at the door, making sure you are who you say you are and keeping out those who aren't on the list. But it's not just about keeping the bad guys out. The access layer also manages the flow of traffic within the network, ensuring smoother operation and preventing congestion. It's akin to a traffic officer directing the flow of data and making sure everything runs smoothly. Despite all these roles, the access layer is designed to be simple. It's all about providing the best possible service to end devices, ensuring they can connect to the network swiftly, securely and efficiently. It's the unsung hero of the network, the gatekeeper at the front lines, often overlooked but crucial to the overall functioning of the network. And so, we see the access layer in its full glory, the bridge between end devices and the network, the implementer of security policies, the manager of data traffic, and the facilitator of reliable connections. The access layer, the gatekeeper, ensuring safe and secure connections. Now you may ask, why all this complexity? What makes hierarchical network design so vital? Well. Let's dive into the benefits of this network design philosophy. First, enhanced performance. By splitting the network into layers, each with its own set of responsibilities, we allow for better control over traffic flow, improving overall network performance. Reliability is another key advantage. If there's a problem in one layer, it's isolated preventing the issue from spreading throughout the entire network. This design allows the network to remain operational even when individual components fail, which is essential in today's digital age, where downtime can cost a business dearly. Scalability, too, is a significant benefit. As a business grows and its network requirements expand, the hierarchical network design can easily accommodate this growth. New layers can be added or existing ones expanded without disrupting the entire network. Security is another crucial aspect. By segregating the network into distinct layers, it becomes easier to implement security policies and controls at each level, thereby enhancing the overall security of the network. But the benefits don't stop there. Hierarchical network design also simplifies management and design. Each layer can be managed and designed independently, reducing complexity and making the network easier to understand and maintain. And finally, a well-designed hierarchical network can lead to improved cost efficiency. By reducing the complexity of network management and allowing for more straightforward expansion, businesses can save on both time and resources. Hierarchical network design, a balance of complexity and efficiency for optimal performance. A perfect blend of elements that allows a network to become a sturdy backbone of any business, capable of adapting to ever-changing needs and demands.
Designing a hierarchical network isn't a walk in the park. There are important factors to consider. First, understanding the network requirements is paramount. This involves a thorough analysis of the types of data that will be transmitted, the expected data traffic, and the performance needs of the network. Another key consideration is planning for scalability. As the network grows, the design should be able to accommodate this growth without significant disruptions. This might mean incorporating additional layers or nodes to handle increased data traffic. Lastly, but certainly not the least, is ensuring security. Protecting the network from potential threats is a task that should never be underestimated. This involves implementing security measures at each layer of the network, from the core to the access layer. With careful planning and consideration, a hierarchical network can be a powerful tool in your IT arsenal.